Okay, now let's remember our goal, replacing our weather icons through Sunshine with images downloaded from the internet. Of course, before we can use Glide with anything, we'll need to add the library to our project. In fact, we use the same approach as we did with the support annotations library, adding in the single dependency needed for Glide. With just that change, we can now use Glide throughout our project. So what does it take to replace our code for loading icons with a call to Glide? Let's take a look at the detail fragment as an example. In this case, we're using a utility method to retrieve the correct resource ID based on the weather condition ID. So what does Glide look? Pretty similar, in fact. We'll create a Glide instance, passing in either a context, activity, or in this case, a fragment, and use load, passing in the URL of the image to load, conveniently provided by a different utility method. Then we'll request that Glide load that image into our image view. Just like that, we've written everything we need to download, cache, format, and display the loaded image in our app. Not bad for three lines of code. Of course, we probably also want to ensure that the app works even if there isn't a network connection and we haven't cached anything. For that, we can use the error method to fall back to our local image resources. Glide offers a number of convenience methods like this to allow placeholder images, crossfading, center cropping, and more, but this will work great for what we need for Sunshine. There is one caveat. When we use an image view with wrapped content and we set the image view via set image resource, we we're actually taking advantage of some built-in functionality where the image view would automatically resize itself based on the image's dimensions. However, when loading images from the network, we'll need to set a specific flag, adjust view bounds. This ensures that after Glide loads the image from the downloaded bitmap, the image view will adjust its view bounds to match. So what changes when we don't have an image view? We brought up at the beginning that getting images into our notifications is a slightly different problem. We somehow need to get a bitmap to add as our large icon. What does this mean for Glide? Most of this should seem familiar. Create a Glide instance, load from a URL, fall back to our local art resource if an error occurs. But there's a few new methods in here. As bitmap is what tells Glide to load the image as a simple bitmap. Turns out that Glide can also load animated GIFs, which unfortunately don't work for our notification large icon. Then instead of using into with an image view, we pass in a fixed width and height. This is what tells Glide to load it as a fixed size bitmap, rather than dynamically resizing it based on the size of the image view. But how do we know what size the large icon needs to be? On gingerbread and lower devices, it was a fixed size, 48 dp. On newer devices, we can use the provided dimensions, notification large icon width, and notification large icon height to ensure that we always get the perfect size. Then we use get to request that Glide retrieve the bitmap synchronously. We'll wait here until the image is retrieved. As we build our notification in our sync adapter, which runs on a background thread, it's okay to block until we get a result. Definitely not something we want to do on the UI thread. Make sure to catch the interrupted exception and the execution exception from get. While we don't expect these things to happen, it's much better to fall back on our local art resources than crash. If everything goes according to plan, we'll have a perfectly sized bitmap we can pass on to our notification. 